the cast members of Yellowstone are suing each other over this coffee. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Coffee is delicious. I love it. A lot of people are out there producing their own brand of coffee. Well, I haven't done that here at the Panda Research Institute because I don't want to just go for a money grab and just try to pry the dollars out of your pocket. So the Von Panda brand coffee will be available in a couple of weeks. But until then, you're going to have to settle for this, this free rain coffee. And I told you that the cast of Yellowstone was suing each other over this coffee, and it is true. Now, let me give you a little bit of the story here, and then we are going to see if it's worth suing each other over. So this is free rain. Free rain over the open range. And it is actually a coffee that is co-founded by this guy, Cole Hauser, who plays Rip Wheeler, who is the character I identify most with on the show because I'm just like him. I mean, we're basically the same person. I'm just a little clean shaven for these videos, but otherwise I just wear my Filson jacket and my Stetson hat and I'm out there busting heads out on the open range. And I do love coffee. And he has this American Dirt blend here. He has a bunch including some frou-frou flavors for maybe the people who love the more urban blends of coffee. But I got this because it's dark roast, and I actually prefer that. Now, Cole Hauser went ahead and co-founded this, probably with some investors. And as you can see here, he's embracing the whole Rip Wheeler thing. And that's actually what I thought of the lawsuit was over, that, hey, you've got this character that's been very successful because of this TV show. You don't have a right to use his likeness. But the reality is Cole Hauser can dress up however he wants. The character exists because of Cole. But that's not it at all. The reason they're suing this is because of this right here. This logo, this FR, Free Rain, looks a lot like Bosque Ranch, which Taylor Sheridan, the creator of Yellowstone, the writer and the actor in Yellowstone, actually owns. Now, I didn't know that Bosque Ranch was a thing, and I didn't know that the logos looked kind of similar. So there is some similarity to them, the BR instead of the FR here. But there are some differences, and I kind of feel a little bit like copyright and trademark law is because a successful company might have worked very hard to build up a brand and someone else is trying to mimic it, kind of ride on those coattails and maybe capitalize on confusion. But that doesn't seem to be the case here. It seems like FR and BR are both equally obscure. I'm sure very successful companies, but I haven't heard of either. So I'm not going to buy Free Rain because I think it's associated with Bosque Ranch Coffee or Bosque Ranch the Entity or whatever it is. And I'm not going to check out Bosque Ranch because I saw the Free Rain logo. So to me, and I'm not a legal expert by any means, but I feel like Bosque could sue Free Rain as much as Free Rain could sue Bosque. So anyway, that's just how it is. But now you know the story and whatever happens there will happen. I kind of think that Free Rain will probably relent. It looks like they use this name up here. Maybe kind of go with a slightly different version of the logo. It seems like they're using the full name out in their marketing material more than the logo itself. So it probably isn't going to hurt them to change the logo. But my guess is that they probably just want that done and behind them. Now, one of the things that I wanted to show you up here is the bag is perforated. And right here it says, rip it. How cool is that? Uh-huh, rip it. Could have said Peter Von Panda it too. And 100% Arabica beans. And this is already pre-ground. So all I have to do is go ahead and put this in my coffee maker, and we'll see if free rain is worth suing over. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is rip Wheeler this a bag of coffee goodness open. Ah, uh, it already starts smelling like a coffee shop. Maybe smells like coffee boiling over the open fire on the open ranch. Or maybe it just smells like you're making coffee in your kitchen. But I'm gonna go ahead and do a double shot of espresso because, you know, if one shot is good, Two shots are probably great. We'll throw them into the iLavi espresso maker and to brew us up a cup here. Even though these machines only take a couple of minutes to brew you up a coffee shop worthy espresso, it's still a long couple minutes. The anticipation is killing me. Hopefully it is worth the wait. But now let's give it a try. All right, so I brewed up two shots of espresso using the free rain coffee here. Didn't put any sugar, cream, any of those dressing ups on it because I want to get that unadulterated dark roast flavor. So, mm, sure smells good. Definitely does not smell like American dirt. Mm, oh, that's good. You know what? There is just a little bit of like that sharpness on the tip of my tongue because you get that initial flavor, which kind of just punches you in the face a little bit. Not bad, just kind of like a sharp nuttiness. Mm, and I do love dark roast, man. They just have so much more flavor. There's so much bolder. There's so much more to it, I think. Especially if you're not going to dress it up and you just want something that tastes like 
fruits and nuts and berries and smoke and wood and outdoors. I bet a pot of this in cowboy coffee would be delicious as well. But I tell you what, as espresso shots, it is absolutely delicious. So if you want to pick up something with a lot of flavors, something that has that spice, has that depth, has that gravel of American dirt, well, you can pick up free rain coffee. I'll put a link to it in the description below. But if you don't like it, don't sue me. Taylor Sheridan might, but I got nothing. So you'll get nothing. Peter Rombanda, out.